Hello everyone, a very good morning to all of you and welcome back to another session. So in this session today we are going to make an anti-corona smart doorbell using Arduino. Now you might think that this is a repetitive workshop but no the one that we previously made was a touchless doorbell. This is in fact a next step, a step forward uh, on the same device. So we have actually improve that device to be an actual smart doorbell. So this doorbell will have the temperature sensor along with the OLED display to check the temperature of the person and of course it also, or also has the infrared temperature infrared sensor to detect the waving of the hand so that the bell can ring automatically. So without further ado let us get started. So Let's talk a little about assembly first. So assembly is a smart lab based out of N5 since December 2014 and uh, we have provided over 250 free workshops uh, over the course of 6 years. Now these workshops are divided into 3 categories, hack, code and data science. Now the workshops like today's that deal with embedded systems, IoT or hardware are categorized as hack workshops. Code workshops on the other hand uh, focus more on the software side of projects uh, dealing with APIs, different frameworks, creating games, coding apps, etc, etc. Last but not least is the data science category which deals with all the projects that deal with big data, AI, machine learning, etc. Now our target audience are students professionals and entrepreneurs but we are more than happy to welcome anyone who is interested in our videos or for, for workshops for that matter. And we focus on smart technology and their practical applications. You can know more about us on our forum which is members.theassembly.ae. And don't forget to tag us on our social media handles. You can check out our social media handles on your screen. So we have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. So let's get to the working of today's setup. So there are two basic uh, principles to today's working uh, project. So we have an infrared sensor that will detect uh, detect if a person or a person is waving his hand or showing his hand to ring the bell. And the other one is if the infrared sensor detects something, then the temperature sensor needs to be started and it needs to get the temperature and then based on these calculations of temperature and things like that uh, it will decide whether it has to ring the bell or it has to inform the person to go away if his temperature is too high so we'll go that go into that detail later when we are going through the code but for now we have two important things that we will be focusing on so infrared sensor and mlx 90614 temperature ir temperature sensor so the infrared sensor as you might know has two parts to it the transmitter and the receiver the transmitter transmits radiation which are then reflected off the surface of the other body let's say for example our hand in this case and then it is then received by the receiver and then based on that it, calcul it does the calculation and determines if the uh, if there is an object in the range or not. So these are the objects that uh, or the parts that we'll be using today. So of course we'll be using uh, Arduino Nano for this but you can go ahead and use Arduino Uno as well. But uh, Arduino Nano is a preferable choice cause um, you might want to have a small box to fit all of this in so Arduino Nano is quite compact but uh, anyways you can use Arduino Uno or any other Arduino board for that matter as well. And then we have the MLX90614 sent temperature sensor, a relay board to drive the bell and an infrared sensor. So for the purpose of this demonstration I will be using an, a buzzer instead of the doorbell but it is the same process to connect to a actual doorbell and the buzzer. So it is nothing that you guys need to worry about. So without further ado. Let's get started and here is the wiring diagram for our 
uh, workshop so we'll wire it exactly the same way so as always you can get the wiring diagram and the codes from the link in the description below and let's get started all right so let's start with the wiring so over here i have the relay module connected to the buzzer like the previous time so the middle wire is connected to so for for the relay wiring what you really need to do is so you need to have the live wire only connected to the relay so the negative wire will just go to the ground of the arduino so i have this here and this is the oled screen over here with the wires the infrared sensor then i've got here the arduino board with the arduino with the breadboard and the temperature sensor so i've connected this temperature sensor to the arduino uh, or to the breadboard so the vcc goes to the 5 volts or on the breadboard and the ground goes to ground and the sda goes to a pin sda just so the sda and scl basically go on to you can plug it anywhere onto the art breadboard but what really matters is a4 and a5 so a4 on your arduino nano is the sda and a5 is the scl so you want to make sure that you connect a4 to the sda and a5 to the scl pin both for the the temperature sensor as well as for the the oled screen so now let's go ahead and wire up the infrared sensor so we have three wires for the infrared sensor so one is ground one is output and one is vcc so we'll just simply go and plug ground and vcc into ground and vcc of the breadboard and for the out out cable will plug it into d8 of our arduino board so we'll plug it in d8 that's done for infrared sensor now okay yeah and one other thing let's get the ground and wire cables from the arduino board to the breadboard itself so here we have the 5 volts and the ground and we'll connect it to the breadboard so just put it over here and now what we'll do is we'll connect the oled screen so oled screen also has four wires ground vcc sca sdl and very simply the ground and the vcc will go to the ground and vcc on the breadboard itself the other two wires which are scl and sda will go to the scl and sda pins on the breadboard so the place where you have connected the sc and sdl for the temperature sensor same place you just make sure to connect the oled screen as well so this is this okay we are almost done we just have the last part of the wiring which is our relay module so the relay as per the relay module we have we have a wire coming out of the relay module from the center which is which is which will be going to the live wire and the other other one the other end of the buzzer in my case or in your case it will be the negative wire negative wire of the doorbell it will go into the ground and these three wires for the relay module are actually input ground and vcc so ground and vcc will just go to simply go to ground and the vcc on the breadboard and as for the other cable which is input we'll plug it to 
digital pen 3 on our arduino board so yeah so that's it this is our this, that's all for our wiring setup now our now that our wiring is all done let's get started with the code right away all right so let's get to the coding now that we have completed our wiring so quickly open up your arduino ides and let's start so here i have included some basic libraries that we need for today's work, uh, workshop we need the mlx 90614 library for the temperature sensor the ssd 1306 for the the oled and then these are just the other uh, libraries that we need so in case if you don't have these libraries or are getting errors with this so you go to tools and then go to and make sure you choose your board to arduino nano and uh, okay and you have this option called manage libraries you go there and then you can install whatever libraries that you want so let's say if you don't have the mlx 90614 you can send mlx 90614 and then you can just install it so i've already installed it but if you haven't you can just install it by clicking install here so that's it for that part and then you have to describe the describe the screen width for the led so it has 128 pixels in its width and 32 pixels in its height so we've done that and then we initialize the display by using this method and giving in the parameters and we also uh, start up or what you call the initialize the temperature sensor by using this command over here and then here we are simply defining where we plugged in our, our infrared center sensor and our relay module so as you might remember from the wiring we plugged it into digital pin 8 and relay we plugged it into digital pin 3 so that's why these numbers so if you change it you have changed the wiring so you can give the numbers accordingly so let's start the uh, setup method so over here we'll first say display dot begin to start up our uh, OLEDs and within the parentheses we will give SSD 1306 underscore switch and make sure it is all caps uh, cap VCC comma 0x3c then we will dis clear the display display dot clear we will set the text size for our display so you can choose any text size but I prefer going with 2 so display dot set text size and then within parentheses you give it 2 and also set the text color so that's also up to you but i'll just give my text color white so text set text color and within parentheses white and this needs to be all caps then i'll set the cursor so this is important that you want to set the cursor always to zeroth location so that when you are printing text onto the screen it doesn't go out of bounds so yeah and then you might end up getting no display and you will be a and you will spend like literally minutes or hours figuring out what the problem is so just make sure you get all this right so set cursor and place it to 0 0 next thing we will print some text so we will say display dot print and we will print smart doorbell in there so smart doorbell ok this is this and these spaces are just to align it so that it kind of comes center aligned in the display 
but you will get to know this when you actually run the code on your machines. And then the most important part is display dot display. So, if you even if you have typed in everything, but you forget this line of code, nothing will be displayed on your LED screen. So, make sure you have this line. And now we want to give our pin modes or actually we should have done this before, but st uh, ok never mind that. So, pin mode IR and its input. So, because input we will be getting input from the infrared sensor that is why we are giving it mode of input and the other mode that we want to give is to the relays and that will be output because we will be telling to the relay when to be on and when to be off. So, that is output uh, ok and lastly we have our sen temperature sensor and we will just for that we will just say mlx dot begin because we named it mlx over here that is why or that is why we are saying mlx dot begin. If you named it something else just uh, use that name and dot begin. Now we come to the most important part of our code which is the loop method where all the good stuff will happen. So, first I will just go ahead and add a delay so that my infrared sensor reading happens after every 500 milliseconds and then I will get the reading infrared uh, sensors reading and I will do that using an if statement. So, I will get the reading within an if statement as well. So, I will just say if digital read and within the parentheses I will give in IR equal equals low then we will do something. So, whenever the infrared sensor detects an object it is reading is actually low. So, if it is not detecting any object it is in output it is uh, output will be 1 if it detects an object it will output 0 that is why we are checking uh, if digital read is low. So, that is how we will know if it has detected an object. So, if it, it has detected an object what we want to do is we want to display something on the o OLED screen and also take uh, and then based on the temperature reading based on the temperature reading display something else. So, let us go ahead and do that. So, let us first create a float variable to store the temperature. So, float temp equals mlx dot read object temp and see. So, this method has so, it actually read the MLX sensor is capable of reading two kinds of temperature the object sensor and uh, object temperature and the ambient temperature and it also can measure temperature both in centigrade and Fahrenheit. So, if you want the temperature in Fahrenheit just change the C to F and then I will just go ahead and add 4 for the calibration. So, that depends on device to device. So, make sure you calibrate your device before using. And now, I will check that the if the measured temperature is less than 38 which means it is in the normal range of temperature then I will clear the display again or maybe I can ok I will just copy it from here. So, I will clear the display and then I can I will set the cursor back to 0 0. and now I will this time I will print something. So, I will say display dot print and what I am going to print is I will say temp. So, temp as in for temperature and then to add on to it display dot print temp the actual value that we are getting from the reading. So, the so it will be temperature equals the value that we get from the sensor and then finally, display dot print welcome. Uh, we are printing welcome because this will only be printed 
if the person has a normal body temperature because of the if condition that we are checking here. So, if the temperature is normal we will say welcome ok and finally display dot display ok and one last line that we need to add is digital write relay comma hi. So, this will turn on a relay which will which will in turn ring the doorbell ok. So, this was our if condition what happens if a person comes in and his temperature is you know high what will we do then. So, in that case what we want to do is we want to first of all turn off our relay. So, we do not want to ring the bell or you might want to ring the bell that is up to you but I do not want to ring the bell. So, I will turn off my relay, relay low and again I will just go ahead and copy this line to display another text to the user. So, again display dot clear set cursor to 0 0 and then uh, this time I will temp print temperature and or ok I will not use this I will just use this. So, I will say temp I um, will say high temperature. So, I will say high temp exclamation mark go away. So, yeah that is what I want to print there and then finally, we have display dot display. So, this is it for our this if else condition now about this if condition. So, if the infrared sensor did not detect any object what will happen then. So, if it did not uh, detect any object then simply we will keep the relay turned off and we will have a small message that will be displayed on the OLED screen. So, we can say ok digital write relay low and then we can we will just copy the code from over here uh, display dot clear and temp. So, over here copy it from here and paste it down there yeah. So, we cleared our display and then we set the cursor and now what we want to print is not this, but the same thing as we had earlier smart doorbell. So, this is what you want to print you might want to print something else or mm, your name or the home house number or house owner's name or whatever you feel like that is totally up to you, but I just keep it simple. So, lastly the most important statement display dot display otherwise it would not work. So, let us go ahead and verify the code. Uh, compiling ok uh, oh, wait why does it have this error yup my bad. So, this had all this has to be clear display and not just clear. So, we will go ahead and change that for all the cl clears that we have wrote that we have written. So, wherever we find a clear we will just say to replace that with clear display and see if the error is still there. Ok, so it is still compiling and it is done compiling. So, yeah it was my, the error on my part. So, I wrote it clear instead of clear display. So, just make sure that you change that and everything else is fine. Now, we can connect our Arduino and upload the code. Now, we have uploaded the code to Arduino. So, here you can see the smart doorbell written on the LED screen and here I have the temperature sensor and here is the infrared sensor. So, once I keep my hand in front of the infrared sensor what will happen is it will show me the temperature and if based on the temperature value it will 
tell me if I'm supposed to or if it, it will ring the bell or otherwise it will me tell me to go away. So let's give it a try. So as you can see, once it uh, once I got my hand close to it, it took the temperature reading and the temperature reading was 31 point something so it said that I am welcome. So what happens if I rub my finger against my clothes and make it quite warm and then try to take the temperature reading. Let's see what happens then. So it should so it's supposed to tell me to go away. So yeah. So it says high temperature go away. So this is how uh, it's going to work. Now what we are what we'll be doing is we'll try to make an enclosure for this so that we can mount it up properly on the wall. So again the enclosure making the enclosure is totally up to you. You can have uh, you can find a box which uh, a box at your home which kind of fits these devices through like a USB case for example somewhat like this which would fit uh, or fit in all of the stuff or you can make it out of a cardboard or you can 3d print it so I'm going to be showing you the ones that I 3d printed and I'll show you what the final thing looks like So this is the final version of the smart doorbell so this is the case that i have 3d printed it so on the top there it is the the temperature sensor then we have the oled and then we have the infrared so and then we have a space at the bottom for the cables and everything so just to give you a demo i'll just wait put my finger in front of the temperature sensor uh, infrared sensor and it takes the temperature and based on the temperature reading it will turn on or off the bell so if my temperature is high so let me mimic that so let me turn on the infrared sensor and keep a finger on the temperature sensor just to mimic the high temperature then okay wait so it says high temperature go away so this is how it's gonna work and yeah you can build a case uh, for with any other material as well but 3d printing is nice so yeah that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed the video and give it a thumbs up if you guys like the video and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you can never miss an episode from our channel and that's it for today see you next time bye bye